Hi guys, let's talk about this foot. This is an overcast foot and it's also known, um, used to create what is called what are called utility stitches. So um, if you look in here, it's a G foot on my machine. Um, this actually came with my machine and it allows you to have a more finished look if you don't have a serger. So let me show you how this works. So first things first, you want to take out um, your J foot, which is usually the one that you use for most of your other things. So this is a J foot. Um, and then put in your overcast foot. So basically just lift that up, put this here, and have your machine catch it. Now the other thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you, your needle is adjusted see if I can um, zoom in there, that your needle there is adjusted so that it doesn't hit against any of these parts. There's a little metal part in the middle of your overcast um, foot and you wanna make sure it doesn't. So to do that, I'm just going to use my wheel, the wheel, the hand wheel on the side of my machine and just you know test this out by putting it down to make sure. Now it looks like it's a little close. So what I might, what I could do is shift my needle a little bit to the right. Now, if you already have a brother machine, this is another really cool feature of the brother machine. So let's go over here and look at this uh, panel right here. So right now it has the J foot, which is what the universal foot I just mentioned that you typically would work with. But because I'm going to be doing overcast stitches, I'm going to switch here. I'm just going to move the panel, uh, move this to go to another screen. And what I wanna do is select the stitch here, this 1-15. So I'm gonna select that. And when I select it, you'll see that not only did it tell me what foot to use, in this case a G foot, but it also, if you listen, you would have heard the clicks that it, that it moved my needle to the right spot. So now when you come in here and look closely, you'll see that it has moved the needle a little bit. Let's see if I can focus that a little bit for you. It's moved the needle a little bit now more towards the middle and not to the end. So now we can go ahead and get started. I have this piece of fabric. Obviously I work with black thread so that you can more easily see what I'm trying to do here. Um, I'm going to put it together and just show you what it looks like as I go along. So I'm just gonna put it in here and line my fabric piece with just the edge of my overcast foot, which is right there. So again, the end of my fabric is just up against the edge right there and I'm going to go ahead and just sew. And you don't need to do anything. You don't need to speed it along. The machine will move it for you as you go. This is actually one of those easy ones that it does everything for you. You don't need to do much. You don't need to guide your machine. Just put in the fabric and see what it does. So let's go ahead and see what it's done. And there you have it, a very clean overcast stitch, something you can create for the edge of your um, sewing without a serger. So if you don't have a serger, no need to panic. If you have a, a brother sewing machine or maybe a singer, it probably comes with this feature. So hope you found this helpful. Be sure to hit that like button or follow if you're not already doing so. Have a wonderful day.